was particularly good friends with the chief scout. Uh, oh, he's a pretty smart guy. He's actually a lot of the uh, credit for Seattle because of that advice. So he just started calling it after his friend. They were actually crossing through a bunch of different things. That was more than stuff. Speaking of the city, I do want to take a second to point out probably the thing that we're most notable for, and that's the space we have. It's been, uh, it's never actually been owned by the city of Seattle, but it's always been sort of the heart of Seattle. <laughs> and I think that's just because of the Where city. Where was she? That's just Where's so kind of weird. Where's <laughs> It's, uh, it's because it was built for the World's Fair in 1962. Happy the World's Fair at that time has, of course, all the World's Fair things do have a, have a theme. And its theme was the Century 21 Exposition, meaning that it was, uh, it was sort of showing people what life would be like in the 21st century. So that was when the touchstone phone debut, a lot of things like that. And this was actually the centerpiece for it. It was built to look like what the architect thought those buildings would look like in the 21st century, what 21st century living would look like. The Jetsons. Uh, <laughs> now, of course, today you don't see a lot of buildings like this because it's 605 feet tall and has three usable stores. Two of them located at the very, very top, making it, unfortunately, a pretty inefficient use of space. Well, that's not why we love it. Uh, we love it just because it's, it's awesome. And they built it with a 30 foot corner with right at the base that's made of concrete. That makes it able to expand this over 120 miles an hour, a third of the fastest we've ever been with on the front corner of Earth. And we 